Hey guys, Peak here. Um, I hired some random girl off the street to film this video, and uh, we're just gonna go and go over my ultralight bushcraft summer kit. We're just doing this right off the side of the road and filming off my iPhone. So let's just get right into it. This is the uh, Free All Raven uh, number 21. Uh, it's, a, it's basically a school backpack that I modified to accommodate for bushcraft. So the outside material is G1000. G stands for Greenland. 1000 is about the amount of times it took for the fabric to fail. It's whatever test that they, uh, they went through. Now on the outside here, I have a hatchet. I bought this at Bradley Mountain in San Diego by uh, the guy named Tyler who owns the shop. Very cool dude, he modified my back for me so that I'm able to slip a hatchet in and out. The other side, yeah, let's, let's put this guy in. The other side of this is just the original one. I, I chose uh, this side to modify so that I have this cool little flag on there to represent the Swedish people. <laughs> other than that, um, this was developed for newspapers and umbrellas for the European people, but I carry a saw um, and then I'll put like knives and uh, ferro rods and other bushcraft type stuff. Okay, and then this pouch right here, I'm going to crouch down so it's not slipping off of me. I just have a very small first aid kit. The bag I'm using is just a bag that I bought some REI product off of and I just reused the bag. It just has some really, really strong ibuprofen and a bunch of bandages and neosporin and uh, nylon tape and stuff. Um, I have a pair of leather gloves. These are great for when you boil water. You're not burning yourself and then you can carry uh, hot, hot things and then uh, not cut your hands when you're uh, sharpening your, your knife and whatnot. I just have this uh, canvas bag and inside I just have a variety of bushcrafting type equipment. This is a Yuko lantern. I have a beeswax candle in here. This lasts us like, I don't know, a bunch of hours. And then it's like waterproof and windproof so the candle won't blow out. These are great and essential bushcraft item. I got some leather maintenance and then some Greenland wax to make the waxable canvas more waterproof. Inside of here, I just have some matches. I don't really use them that much because I'm using a lot of the ferro rods. I'm out here to practice and uh, practice makes perfect. This tin, uh, it comes with these guys and it comes with a stack of three of them. But I keep one in there and then I have a bunch of fat wood to uh, just burn a variety of different things. And this more knife, I'm able to uh, process tinder and stuff off of it. There's a car coming. <laughs> um, in the very top, I just have a 100% wool beanie by Fjall Raven. I do have a first responder discount. Of, like It's like 60% or something like that. So I bought a bunch of stuff. And in here, I have a uh, water container. This is a single wall stainless steel uh, Nalgene made out of like surgical steel. So it's not like, um, there's no bacteria or anything growing on it. Um, then I have this wax canvas Fjall Raven jacket that I bought on eBay for 50 bucks before my discount. And then I have the, these, these are essential. So when you can boil water, you're not gonna be, carry it cause it's gonna be too hot. This is a bottle hanger. And along with this, I have a nesting cup. This is a brand new from Pathfinder, uh, Dave Canterbury's um, product. You know, it's a very essential item um, out bushcrafting so you can char tin and stuff. And then I also have the, the lid that, I, that goes with it. And right here, so inside this backpack, you can come closer. Inside this backpack, you have this pouch in here that is able to accommodate that water bottle and all that can stuff, so it's all one system. And then it goes in there. Now, I usually bring a, a wool blanket bushcrafting, but to keep this backpack ultra light, ultra small, I, I just brought this SOL bivy. Um, it weighs like six and a half ounces or something. 
it is in an OD green, so it, I can blend it with my environment and whatnot. And uh, it's great, so I can hide from all the bears. And then inside this, is you can kind of use this as like a, a knee pad or whatnot. It, it, it comes with the backpack, it's G1000 material. So you can put your knees on it and then just start chopping wood with the custom made hatchet that I have. There are better options than this, but I like this one just because of uh, how it looks and whatnot. And it just looks really unique and not a lot of people have it. And then that's pretty much it. That's, that's my entire bag besides the saw. And uh, there you go, guys. There's, that's all that's inside of my bushcraft kit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll make another one with clothing. And uh, that's all for today.